She's still nervous. <laughs> okay, Chris, do you think we're ready for the video? Sure. You guys ready? Yeah! yeah. I can't hear you. Are you ready? Yeah. Marie and I, we, we go way back. Oh, that's deep. I've known her since 11th October 1987. It's been a relationship lined with feelings of annoyance, indifference, animosity, hate, and at times, a little bit of love. Now that I look back, I realize how everything she does is driven by love and motivation. Every step of hers is backed by her never-ending desire for perfection, her amazing grades throughout school, her admission into the top university of Pakistan, her induction into the World Bank, her move to the US, and her more than successful life here were all milestones that my dad and Mariam had written down and dreamt about. While she has martial achieved so much in life, she has made sure that her family and the people close to her benefit to the fullest from all that she has. She is truly the most selfless person I've ever, ever come across. Man, I'm full of so much joy and excitement. There's water behind us. There's an army of Sherwanis and Lengas around us, and there's our friends and family in front of us. But most importantly, there's you, the perfect man that I could ever dream of. The path to you has not always been easy, but every second spent with you has been worth it. Promises I make today mark this day as a journey towards betterment, towards growth, and towards a stronger, more beautiful version of us. I vow to listen to you, dream with you, and be there for you. I vow that I will choose you every day, a million times over, not because I have to or need to, but because I want to. I vow to believe in you, to let my guard down, and to let you in fully and wholeheartedly. I vow to be your white noise, your desert rose, your chubsy bubsy, and your babatar. I vow to love you passionately, fight for you fiercely, and stand by you firmly. I love you. Anyone who knows me and my thoughts on marriage is likely slightly surprised to see us here today. Oh yeah. Yet here we are. I vow to continue to listen to your advice, your drive, and your wisdom. I am the most functioning lazy person we both know. Not a day goes by where I'm not grateful to have found such a positive and motivating force in my life. I vow to remember that no matter how frustrated we are with each other, we have a 100% track record of turning any anger and frustration into an opportunity for growth and an even stronger loving bond. I vow to remember that no matter how ridiculous I still think the concept of marriage is, I'm so grateful to have you in my life. <laughs> you are by far the most loving person I've ever allowed in my life, and I'm never going to forget. It's only one of your zillions and zillions of reasons you are a gift to me. Malika! <laughs> Many months ago, 
Mariam came to me and said, Svetlana, I'm thinking of marriage. And I said, I love you. But you know I'm already married, right? <laughs> And then one thing that I didn't mention that I remember him saying was that like, you know, Adam, she actually listens and, and cares and, and wants to change for me. It's like, this is such a weird feeling. It's like, oh man, this is great. I know this is going. And then he would say romantic things like, you know, she said she likes my cats. <laughs> genuinely worried that nothing short of complete world domination was going to satisfy this girl. Like a pocket Thanos, that's what Mariam reminded me of. But then she met the king of chill, Matt Miller. And that made all the difference. She's still gonna rule the world, but hopefully more like Thor, less like Thanos. We'll see. But I will say, there are times in my life that I needed someone to fill me up and teach me how to be a man. And this dude stepped up. Not only to teach me how to be a man, but to teach me how to be a good friend. And then a beautiful woman came into his life and showed me that same kind of love. And I love you guys with all of my heart. And forever, I will be grateful for what you have done for me. Like Herman Lee's strings of his Dragon Force guitar, the strings themselves are separate, but when strummed together, they make the most metal of epic music. Khalid Gibran said that, you can Google it. And so everyone, let's raise a toast to Matt and Miriam. Uh, the Millers making epic metal music.